What is going on you guys? It is your host Avery here and it's been a good three months since I've last made a video here on this channel But I wanted to make one for you guys just real quick talking about this new deck that I came across uh, You've probably already seen it on capital G's channel And this is literally the same deck the gem Knight FTK deck literally the only two differences between the build He showed off in this one is that I'm playing tourmaline the other one played gem Knight amber. They're literally the same thing um, so yeah uh, Capital G showed this off, and he showed that it can do 10,000 burn damage, which it can, um, and it's a very cool deck because of the fact that this may be a somewhat competitive deck, um, especially since it's an FTK deck for that matter, once we get, uh, I believe it's Maximum Crisis, or whichever it is, we get the Zodiac slash Genishishi whatever it is that you want to call these things. <laughs> so without any further ado, I want to jump into this deck profile because Cap Capital G hasn't posted it on his channel yet, and no one else on YouTube has posted this, so... Yeah, I want to get some hype on this video. <laughs> so let's just dive right into it. So you play a Gemini engine, a small uh, plant engine, as well as uh, some Junishishi, so Zodiac, whatever it is you want to call these things. I'm just going to be sticking with Zodiac for the purpose of this video. So let's just dive right into it. We have two Gemini Tourmaline, one Gemini Lapis, one Trick Clown, three Molmarat, because it's Molmarat, uh, three uh, Orphis Scorpio, three Terra Top, uh, two Cobra. One Tacton Berg, three Lone Fire Blossom, a Black Sheep, and three Lazui. Uh, monster lineup, um, it looks like a pile of crap, but it actually works. You have the Gemini Engine because you're FTKing with Lapis Lazui. Um, the Predator Plants are good because whenever you normal or special summon Scorpio, you send a monster from your hand to the graveyard to special summon another Predator Plant, so you'll end up getting out Cobra which will either get you Brilliant Fusion or Instant Fusion, depending on what you have in your hand. And I would say about maybe 80 to 85% of the time, you can FTK with this deck. Like, as long as you have a way to get to Scorpio and Black Garden, you pretty much win the duel. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and then on to the spells, we have Instant Fusion, Polymerization, 3 Terraforming, 3 Left Arm Offering, 3 Brilliant Fusion, 3 No Kyoko, and 3 Black Garden. For the extra deck, we have 1 Brilliant Diamond, one Master Diamond, one First of the Dragons, one Lapis Lazui, one Seraphonite, one Norton, one Castell, two Emerald, and then one of each of the Junishis, Tigris, Dracaena, Wildbow, and Bullhorn, and then a Break Sword and MX Saber and Boker. So how does this deck work? So let's just kind of shuffle up here and I can show you guys what I mean. Um, this is actually the perfect hand as an example. So we got Lone Fire, Cobra, Tact Number, Black Garden, Left Arm Offering. We're just going to assume that we're going first. You're going to want to activate Black Garden. You're then going to want to normal summon Lone Fire, which is going to trigger the Black Garden, giving your opponent Rose Token. You're going to want to go through all of your Lone Fires, and then you're going to want to end up with Scorpio. So your opponent will have like four tokens on their side of the field at this point. You then use Scorpio's effect to discard the Tacton Bird to special summon a Cobra from your deck. Cobra is then going to activate, and you're going to be able to add... Uh, you didn't open up a Brilliant Fusion in this case, so you're going to add Brilliant Fusion. You're then going to overlay with both the Cobra and the Scorpio into MX Saber Invoker. You're going to detach to go for the Mulma Rat in defense mode. And this is pretty much where things go off. And if you watch Capital G's video, you'll know what I'm talking about with this FTK. I'm just kind of walking you through it real quick just to sort of explain it. Um, but what Mulma Rat's able to do is basically not only thin through your deck, but also be able to get you enough monsters on the board. So what I mean by that is that once you have the Mulma Rat on the field, you're able to use the Junishishis to be able to help further... Um, your not really your monster uh, count on your side of the field, but more just being able to search and get your pieces. So you'll end up making Wild Bow, and then you'll go for the Tigris. Because of Momorat's effect, since he's still an Xyz material on Tigris, you can detach a special summon another Momorat. So what you'll end up doing is use Tigris's effect with Momorat's effect, essentially, detaching the Wild Bow in order to get out a second Momorat. That second Momorat is just for the fact that you want to have um, as many monsters on the field as possible. So then after you use Tigris, you're going to make Bullhorn, and Momorat's still an Xyz material, so you could special summon out another Momorat if you wanted to, but instead, you're going to detach um, the Tigris from Bullhorn to use his effect in order to add, where is it here, the Black Sheep. And all Black Sheep does is just you discard to add a Polymerization, that's it. So you'll discard to add Polymerization into your hand, um, and now you're sitting with Brilliant Fusion and Polymerization in your hand. In your hand, you that you now at this point have four monsters on the field. So you'll activate Brilliant Fusion. You will send a Lazui, Lapis, and a Tourmaline to the graveyard to make uh, Brilliant Diamond. Brilliant Diamond is then going to tribute 
to get out Lapis Lazui. Lapis Lazui will activate, sending some random Gem Knight from your deck to the graveyard because Lazui would have activated putting Lapis in your hand anyway. So you can just send a second Lazui to put the uh, Tourmaline back in your hand. So now you have Lapis and Tourmaline and Polymerization in your hand. Your opponent's going to take 5,000 damage. You activate Polymerization, fuse the Tourmaline and the Lapis in your hand with the Lazui on the field, make Master Diamond, he copies the effect of Lapis Lazui, and you win the game. So, with that being said, let's quickly dive into two replays that I've got for you guys, and then we will call this video out. Okay, I was wrong. I actually only have one replay here for you guys, but as you can see, this is my opening hand right here, and this right here is an FTK hand. So, as you can see, you're just going to, you know, do your stuff with Black Garden and everything. Um, there's... All, all this is literally all Black Garden does is just putting tokens on your opponent's side of the field in order to give you uh, more burn damage. Um, and it is a uh, somewhat complicated combo. If you know what you're doing, like off the back of your hand, then it's going to be very easy. Um, but it does take a little bit of a learning curve just to understand the combos. And I'm sure some of you guys are going to be asking, well, if you can't FTK, then what? Well, I mean, there have been moments where, you know, all right, sorry about that, you guys. I had to pause the replay and then start it back up because uh, YGO Pro loves to mess up. Um, <laughs> wow, that's terrible. Okay, so let's just kind of walk this through here. You saw I went for the Invoker. It's an FTK, as I mentioned. All Black Garden is meant to do, like I said, is to put tokens on your board because by the time this board is over, I would have had uh, four monsters on the board, plus I used Instant Fusion Gout in order to have the fifth monster. And then Lapis Lazuli would have activated, dealing 500 for each of these, and then 500 for each of mine. That's a total of 5,000 your opponent takes damage. Again, Capital G has some replays on uh, his channel. Unfortunately, I can't show you mine, because YGO Pro loves to mess up. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little deck profile. Thank you guys for watching, as always. And I will hopefully be trying to get back to making more videos, if my computer will cooperate.